takes a lot to be a good pole vaulter. It takes speed, power. You gotta be mentally prepared to throw yourself in the air. Yay! The pole vault is one of the most dynamic disciplines in modern competition. But redshirt freshman Caitlin Petrolos makes it seem easy because of her background in a sport that requires many of the same skills. A lot of really good pole vaulters are actually ex-gymnasts. And I used to do gymnastics till I was 14. Gymnastics, you need that strength, you need that power. You need to be able to swing and know where you are. It's the same thing in pole vaulting. During Caitlin's freshman year at McNeil High School in Northwest Austin, she switched her focus from gymnastics to the pole vault. Her high school track coach, Brian Elmore, who also serves as the volunteer women's pole vault coach at Texas, witnessed that Petrolos possessed the traits required for great vaulters. Caitlin had a gymnastics background, but was also a sprinter. That was just a bonus. I mean, that was huge, her having that gymnastic ability, but being as fast as she is. And you could tell, that, yeah, there's, there's something special there, that she was going to be able to jump very, very high. After winning the 5A state title as a senior, Petrolos chose to continue her career at the University of South Dakota. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Despite qualifying for the 2012 Olympic trials in the pole vault while at South Dakota, the Austin native wanted to return to her home state and compete for the University of Texas. I wanted to really come back home. I felt like I belonged in Texas and the Midwest was just not my thing. I was nervous because I wasn't sure if I belonged here. Was I gonna be accepted here at the University of Texas because there's so many great athletes in every sport at the university. I thought she belonged as soon as she got here. I, I don't know when she thought she belonged, but she didn't act like she was a new kid. She acted like she'd been here all the time. Maybe it has something to do with that she's from Austin. In January, in her second meet as a Longhorn, Petrolo set the school indoor record with a vault of 4.2 meters. And just one month later, at the Big 12 Indoor Championships, she set out to improve upon that mark yet again. But in order to raise the bar higher, she would have to use a larger pole that she wasn't accustomed to, which would allow her to clear higher vaults. When she set that first record, she was on a set of poles that were a little bit smaller and that she was pretty comfortable on. When it came time for the Big 12 competition, those poles were a little bit big and they were a little bit scary. She was a little bit spooked of them. And uh, I even suggested that we go back down to those poles so that she was more comfortable. She manned up. She really cowboyed up and got after it. I felt confident in myself that I could do it, but when I was in the air, I was just worried about getting over that bar. If I clear this bar, I'm guaranteed a spot at nationals. When you go upside down on a pole, <laughs> you have to have a little bit of a swagger to you, and Caitlin ha certainly has swagger. I went for it, I started running, hit the pole, and I was like, swing, Caitlin, swing! And I swung and whew, way over it. Petrolos cleared 4.33 meters to win the Big 12 championship, and in the process, broke her own school record. She went on to finish 11th at the 2013 NCAA championships. But Petrolos has her sights and the bar set on something higher. I have everything I need to be a national champion. But do I have that ability that day, that moment? We'll find out. <laughs>